Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. Today's video, I'm going to talk about a Gopher client for DOS. This was actually just emailed to me today to check this out. And so I, so I have, and I'm going to make a video on how to run it on my homemade PC. The um, hardware we're running today, it's kind of becoming standard to show this in the beginning of my videos. We've got an 8088 uh, processor here with a 512K of RAM, a VGA graphic card, and a network card, and we'll be using the network today. So these, these Gopher servers, um, they've, they're kind of out of use these days. They've been out of use for quite a while, actually. And in some ways, I've read the wiki page on it. They were uh, like a precursor to um, like HTML, like w, you know, regular web browsers. So let's uh, let's start our network. So you can see I've rammed it out in my auto exec because I, I just don't want it to start every time I boot up. It takes up memory in that. So we're connecting the network. He's pretty quick actually. And then uh, the software we're using. Um, called go for us and I'll put a link in the description for this so and I, I just used this for a minute before I made this video it's it's pretty intuitive it's been a lot of years since I even tried to connect to a gopher server I want to say the first time I ever did was in junior high school uh, and it was like through actually the web browser you just typed in gopher instead of HTTP and maybe you can still do that I I'm not sure so anyway it opens up it's a simple like text-based GUI kind of like edit in a way I'm not sure let's see if F1 works I didn't try that oh but it does that so F1's your help um, so it's per, it's been pretty intuitive I I just uh, use the arrow keys to move around enter to select things backspace to go back escape will uh, get you out of the program <laughs> it does say F1 right there. I didn't even read that earlier. So this first web page, or sorry, it's a gopher page on the list here is the, uh, it says it's the authors. So you just scroll through these. Um, you can just select them. Uh, you can see they do a little bit of art, ASCII art. A list of servers. What we got here? Too many lines have, <laughs> yeah, so that, it didn't like that. Probably not off memory or something, but it looks like these are, it's a list of gopher servers. Let's, uh, let's just try one of these first ones here. So, this PC lover's official gopher server. So that's pretty good from from his little uh, his initial page you can jump to other servers without having to go to the your your regular computer and uh, try to find one See, is there a date on here that I maybe it was up at the top I hold on the key the up key it just kind of beeped the uh, buffer was probably full Let's go back. Um, some books, documents. So there, in some ways, it's it's kind of like a fancy uh, BBS. You know, in some ways, I I would say I kind of like this better than like a like telnetting to a BBS. It's a lot quicker actually. To, you just scroll around. So the observable universe is the universe of servers, it looks like. Like I said, I just barely started playing with this right before I made the video. So anyway, uh, if you, uh, I, I think this is a uh, better solution where there isn't a decent DOS web browser out there. I would say this is a, a decent way to browse servers. Uh, obviously, you're gonna have a server out there that has what you want, but it seems like a good alternative to uh, 
a traditional web browser where, like I say, we don't have one that works. So anyway, uh, let's just exit here. It just I just said escape. It says you're about to quit. Press escape to confirm. So anyway, that's the uh, the Gopher uh, Gopher client for DOS running on my uh, homemade PC. And like I say, I'll put the the link in the description if you want to download it for your uh, your uh, PC as well. And then uh, as far as the network goes, I would recommend if, to get that set up if you haven't done that before. I do have another video out there that shows getting the network set up on me. So thanks for checking out my video today.